I'm joined by Pool Aldo Ama, the CM designate of Mizora. First of all, congratulations, sir, on the momentous mm -hmm. victory. It has been uh, a hard journey, a yeah. tough job, yeah. but happy yeah. in the last. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, first of all, like, what do you credit your victory to? Like, what has been very instrumental for this uh, the journey all through from eight seats in 2018 yeah. to 27 seats in 2023? People say that uh, anti-incumbency plays a big role, and uh, I agree to some extent, but this time what we have seen is a positive note on the behavior of the electorates. Uh, they don't just want to replace the government. They are looking after that. They are looking forward to have a better government, more efficient, corruption-free government. Uh, which will be a friend of the farmers and who can, you know, take care of the problems being faced by our unemployed youths. And what did the electorate see in you? Pardon? What did the electorate see in you? Well, you ask them. <laughs> <laughs> your, come on, sir. your three priorities being the chief minister of the state. Uh, number one will be uh, upliftment of the farmers. Uh, number two will be uh, to take up anti-corruption measures. And number three is to consolidate the financial position of the state. One state that concerns Assam and uh, Mizoram is yeah. the border issue. Yeah. It has been a long issue, which yeah. uh, you, you were there when the entire uh, violence yeah. erupted, and there has been a status quo, but uh, relations are still in the same position. Yeah, yeah. Your immediate step to better relation with Assam and yeah. to solve this long-standing issue yeah. with the border issue of with the sand. Yes. Uh, at a convenient time, uh, uh, me and uh, uh, Dr. Himanta Bishwas will sit together and discuss. That is the first thing we have to do. Uh, before that, we will form a boundary committee comprising the representatives from all sections of the society. After the formation of this boundary committee, I'll discuss the matter with the Chief Minister of Assam. Previously, uh, with uh, the, the Assam Chief Minister and the Mizoram Chief Minister, yeah. there was no Chief Ministerial sort of meeting. Yeah. The border committee and the ministers met. Yeah, so yeah. You, you would meet, meet him in person. I think we, sh we have to start at the political level, and the process will follow. And at the end, we have to conclude politically. Um, they have their own demand, we have our own, uh, our own demand. It has to be negotiated. Another political boundary is with Manipur. Yeah. Internal displacement, yeah. people are here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the, your policies on that matter, like, do you think that, that these uh, the, uh, the, uh, Kukizu people now need to return? Yeah. Or you should think, uh, you think that you, n you need to take the matter with uh, ambulancing and then uh, go forward? I don't know whether it will uh, have a fruitful discussion with Mr. Biren Singh. You don't, you, you definitely, don't. I have to talk with the Home Minister. Why not with Biren Singh? Like, uh, you're not uh, happy with his kind of functioning with um, the entire... I have little hope. We have seen his attitude, the way the treatment he had given to the people, particularly to, to tribals. Yeah, so much injustice are being made done to them. Churches are burned, houses are burned, women are raped, people are killed. So uh, this should be taken up by the central government. Now, now come to the international border, the Myanmar border yeah. with Myanmar. That is another area where you actually are concerned. We don't know what is going to happen next. No, now the military regime is sacking. Uh, I don't know whether the freedom fighters will be able to succeed um, to form their own government. That has to be taken care of by the foreign ministry, external ministry of the government of India. I have little uh, thing to say about this. It's not, you know, my it, subject. It, 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 <laughs> it's not a state subject. I asked you because you, you were an IPS officer yeah. and you have seen these things at least with Roy and all this stuff. Yeah. So you have seen things from very close quarter. Yeah. Now, coming to uh, the internal issues of the state, yeah. uh, like uh, 27 seats, yes. a huge mandate, yes. 
BJP also has secured two seats. Congress has been relegated to one. Now 24 elections are there. So do you uh, anyhow foresee a chance of aligning with some national party or you want to go all through all alone? We will go alone. This time also we will go alone. And in the next parliamentary election also, I think we will go alone. There has been a huge uh, anti-corruption yeah. campaign by you, uh, uh, and you claim that the previous government was a corrupt government. Yeah. So, like your immediate uh, uh, policies to actually tackle this corruption yes. or or to settle this corruption issue. Yeah. Uh, you see, we have uh, chalked out uh, various anti-corruption measures already, and we'll start the process, like you know, giving general consent to the CBI and. Uh, Strengthening the outlook out there and uh, um, constitution of uh, monitoring committee at the state level uh, with the chief minister as chairman. There will be expert members in the committee and there will be representatives from each political party, NGOs, and even the churches. It will be a government of the people where everybody has a representative in that committee. They'll take care of these uh, uh, corruption practices. And the main, the main uh, practice, uh, the main source of corruption as of today in Mizoram is giving restricted tenders. Most of the tenders are given as restricted tenders. Restricted tenders should be given only with, you know, under the rules, and they are not following it. They violated every every law. So I am going to prohibit restricted tenders. Restricted tenders. No single restricted tender should be issued without my approval. Last two things. Yeah. One for the, which is better, uh, a civil servant, an IPS officer? Or a politician. That is a better, uh, pop, uh, that is a disciplined life, and here it is more of an arrangement and adjustment. You see, there is more satisfaction uh, in the politics. No, the, the police service is really a service of the people. Hmm. And the service of the people is the service to God, as we all know. But as for me, when you have a target, when you have some objectives to be achieved, that drives the whole life. And that is quite interesting, and I am very happy now I am closing, I am approaching the fulfillment of my dreams. When are you taking claim and when is the government of taking likely to be? Uh, within this week. Within this week. Yeah. So that was Pul Aldo Woma, very strict, very disciplined and very objective focus. He knows what to do next and how to bring the state back to the line of prosperity and development. With camera person Sanjay Bharat, this is Nilay Bhattacharjee reporting for News 18.